Hello guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use these series with WooCommerce. So there's going to be a tutorial for beginners. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. So you might be wondering, how do you use WooCommerce with Deezers? Well, this one is actually pretty easy. We just need to install the proper applications and connect a few accounts for us to start using those two platforms. Now, in this case, what we need to do first is we need to install WooCommerce on our website. Now, in this case, we need to go to our WordPress website here and we need to go to our plugins section. In this case, choose the option here that says add new plugin. And from here, we need to search for WooCommerce. Now at the top right of your screen, just type in WooCommerce there and you should be able to see it. In this case, go ahead and look for it. So if you don't type the whole thing, you might not get the application itself. But once you see it, just click on the install now option. It's going to start installing. And from here, once it's actually installed, we need to now activate it. So let's go ahead and click on activate here to fully activate that. And once it's actually activated, we are now ready to connect our account into Deezer. So let's just wait for it. Now, the next page is going to say, welcome to Woo. So let's go ahead and click on set up my store. So we need to answer a few questions here. So which one of these is the best describes you? So in this case, I'm going to say I'm just starting my business here. Click on continue. So it's going to uh, ask us to tell about, about, about more about our store. So that includes your store name here. What, a, what type of products or service you plan to sell? So maybe I want to say clothing and accessory here and where your store is located and your email address here. Now, also, if you want to receive tips, discounts, and recommendations from Woo Team directly, you could go ahead and click on the checkbox next to it, and you'll be able to receive a news or any emails regarding their um, website or their team here. Now, in this case, let's go and click on continue here to continue with the next step. And from here, it's going to say get boost with the free features here. So you can enhance your store by installing this free business features no commit rewards now in this case you could choose whatever here but for now i'm going to go ahead and disable all of them and just click on continue now in this case it's going to start building our site here so in this case let's just wait for it to load up now in this case it's going to redirect us to the welcome page here where in this case you need to start adding products choose your team set up payments and add tax rates now in this case you could go ahead and choose uh, or fill out all the necessary information here but for now i'm just going to go ahead and choose my team here so maybe i want to use a very simple one here so in this case, maybe I want to use this one. So let's go ahead and click on the install button here. But you could go ahead and choose whatever here. So go ahead and browse the store for teams that you want to use. But I want to use this one here. Let's go ahead and click on activate once it's actually installed. And it's going to uh, be activated here. Now in this case, you could go ahead and click on customize here. And you'll be able to see the editor for your store or your uh, website here. Now, going back into the previous page here, whenever you click on the previous store option here, it's going to boot up your store. As you can see, this is now your store. Now, in this case, what we need to do next is we need to copy our store here. Make sure that you have a link of your store here. It's going to be something really needed later on. Now, in this case, what we need to do next is we need to visit the Deezers website. Now, it is recommended that you first go to Deezers.com and create your account, but I'm assuming you already have or you've already created your account here. But in this case, if you haven't created your account, just visit their official website, which is Deezers.com. And usually at the top right, you have the option to sign up into the platform. Now, you might need to provide a simple information about yourself. So that includes an email address, your name, and a password that you want to use for your account. Now, in this case, once you've on that you should be able to see the home screen here or the connection process now in this case if you're already here or if you're already here in the home page here what we need to do next is we need to link our stores so at the bottom left of your screen you should see the link to more stores option so go ahead and click on it and from here we need to choose the option that says woocommerce so let's go let's go ahead and click on it and from here what we need to do is you'll see this pop up here. By the way, if you see a window that says uh, you need to have a pro uh, version of your account, 
uh, it means that you need to purchase the pro version, especially if you're using like multi platforms. Like for example, if you're using Deezer's account and concurrent with Shopify, and you want to add WooCommerce into your Deezer's account, you might need to have the pro version. So in this case, you might need to use another account if you want. But in this case, I'm going to uh, I actually I'm using another account here. That's why I have this pop up here. Now, in this case, if you see this window here, you're ready to proceed. Now, in this case, all we need to do is we need to install the uh, the uh, Deezer's account or the Deezer's application to WooCommerce. Now, in this case, let's go and click on install at the bottom right of our screen. And it's going to initiate the process and authenticating uh, the WooCommerce here. And we need to add a, a link of our store. Now, in this case, like uh, what I said before, you need to copy your link here and paste it in this section here. Let's just paste it this one. Click on add to store. So it's going to say website and authorization and connection. Now in this case, let's just wait for it to complete successfully. Now in this case, you might get this pop up here. Let's go ahead and click on approve. And that should actually approve our store here. Just wait for it to load it up and that should uh, authorize it and initiate the connection. By the way, if you have a shop link or a shop section on your link, make sure that you move that so that you'll be able to connect your store. In this case, it's going to say login and author authorize. Let's go ahead and click on confirm here. Make sure that your email is correct. And once you've done that, it should start the connection process here. Now, in this case, once you've done that, it's going to give you the option to choose the plans that is available here. But in this case, I'm going to use the free plan here. Let's go and click on get started on the basic plan that we have. So in this case, as you can see, the next step we want to do is we need to click our AliExpress account. Let's click on the AliExpress here. And from here, we want to click on log in. But if you don't have your an AliExpress account yet, you could go ahead and click on register here and just follow the steps for you to register or log in. Now, in this case, once you've logged in into your account, it's going to say account link here. So also you might need to enter a verification code that you'll be receiving on your account. But in this case, once you've done that, you should be able to see the official website here for AliExpress. And from here, you should be able to start adding your uh, products. Now in this case, let's just go back into Deezer's here. And from here, what we need to do next is just go back into Deezer's. So if you see this or receive this repeatedly, you could go ahead and just go to deezers.com here. So you might get this notification here. So in this case, if you're enable or if, if uh, sometimes it might get this error here, sometimes although you've already logged in into your account, you might need to revisit your uh, Deezers account and relink your AliExpress account here. So if you get that uh, pop up repeatedly, just go ahead and just, uh, relink that. Click on the access now option here. Make sure that your email is correct. And from here, that would actually authorize your Deezer account into AliExpress. And you should be able to see the main application and home screen of Deezers. Now, once in here, what we need to do next is we need to start adding our products. So to do that, we need to go to our import list here and you need to go to AliExpress. Now in AliExpress, what we need to do next is we need to look for a product that we want to sell. So maybe we are looking around uh, a specific product that we want to sell here. So maybe I want to sell this type of product here. So let's go ahead and click on that product. And at the top section, you should be able to see the URL for that specific product. Now in this case, go ahead and copy that. So let's go ahead and click on copy. Go to the import list here and go to the search, import or search uh, section here. And that should open up a new search bar. Enter the link here. Click on paste and click on OK. Now, in this case, this would actually start importing your product. And once added in here, we are now ready to start editing it. Now, in this case, go ahead and click on the edit product at the bottom left. And from here, you should be able to change a few things uh, regarding your product before you actually push it into your store. Now, in this case, you could change your title here. You can even change like certain uh, aspects on the variants that I have. Like for example, the pricing for it, compare at price, stock, and a lot more. And also you have the description here. If you want to change a certain description on the product itself, you have the images and the shopping or shipping info here. But in this case, you could go ahead and edit whatever here, but make sure that you click on the save at the bottom right of your screen. Now, in this case, once you're done, we are now ready to basically push this into our store. Now, to do that, we need to go to the bottom section again 
or you could go ahead and just go to the uh, section here that has the checkbox at the top right on it and from here the push the store option should now be available in this case you could go ahead and click on push the store and from here we want to choose a certain aspects on it now you need to choose or select a store where you want to publish this one as well as the option for continue selling when out of stock also publish to online store if you want that and also push products specifications or if you want those as well now in this case once you've added all the necessary or your preference here you could go and click on push the stores here and from here it's going to start pushing those stores into your shop now in this case this might take a while depending on the product itself so if the product has multiple information or if it has a lot of details images videos it might take some time so in this case you just need to wait for it so let's just wait for it to push and now once your product has been successfully pushed, when you go back into your store here, as you can see, it is our store here. As you can see, the product has now been added. Now, once we go back into our admin page here and go to the specific section for WooCommerce and go to the product section here, you'll be able to see your product now added. Now, in this case, whenever you click on it, you should be able to change a few settings or details on it if you want to, like, for example, the description on it. But in this case, that's how you use WooCommerce with Deezers. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.